Okay, so hey guys, so welcome to another installment in my makeup stash series and tonight I'm going to be just sharing um, a bunch of random things but I decided to just throw these all together into one video because there's not enough of these products to just go in one video, I mean separate video, so I just decided to throw them all into one video so without further ado let's just jump right in and we're going to start off first with any type of priming products now I am super into primers now um, I can't do my makeup without primers honestly um, I think that they help your makeup stay on incredibly well and also really help the um, application of your foundation and also makes your foundation last a lot longer, doesn't tend to break up, stuff like that. So I'm going to share my two current favorites right now. These are, primers are very, very expensive, so I don't try and, and go out and purchase them too much. Um, I've only had like one repurchase in the past couple of months and just a re recent purchase now a couple of days ago. Um, so these are the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primers. I have the smoothing primer and the nourishing primer. Now this is the one that I've been using like every single day with my um, Smashbox Primer Water which is my basically my holy grail um, primer so I'm just going to jump into this one too. Smashbox is like one of my all-time favorite priming brands. I really have only tried Smashbox primers. I haven't really tried anything else from them in a really long time. But I use this every single day. I think it's amazing for dry skin. Um, I just use it, spritz it on my face as my first step before I do anything else. And it's just weird. Like after I wash my face, I still feel like my face is a little bit dry. Even after using the Vanishing Cream from Lush, I love putting this on. Because it gives such a boost of hydration to your face and really makes your makeup go on beautifully. So I love that. I don't really have to rave about it too much. And then I apply it with these two primers. As you can see, I've used this primer quite a bit. I've been kind of obsessed with it with the past for the past couple of weeks. I wasn't using it as much when I first got it. I would use it every few days, but then I was using up the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. But I love this. I think this is one of the best primers out there as well. I love the Primed and Poreless, though. That's one of my holy girls, too. But I think this is amazing as well. And then this one is the Nourishing Primer, and I've been using this just strictly like on my nose area. Because my nose is basically the uh, one place that gets the most dry out of my whole face. Even when I'm applying my foundation, I always have to worry about how dry my nose is going to get after applying my foundation. It's such a pain in the butt. But I've been finding that this has been really controlling my dryness recently. So I really have been really liking it. I've only been trying it out for two days and I already really love it. Um, the Makeup Forever Equalizers are $36 a piece and they sell them at Sephora, obviously. So they are pricey. And then the Smashbox Primer Water is around, I believe, $26, but I love this. I will always repurchase this. This is my second bottle already. Um, then the next primers, again, I'll just share the rest of my Smashbox um, collection as I'm dropping everything. That's amazing. Just give me one second. Okay, so I only have a few more primers to share with you. Sorry about that. So I own um, three other Smashbox primers. Two of them are samples and the other one is a full size. The first sample is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I actually got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. And I fell in love with the small size so much. I didn't even end up using this up. And then I also went out and purchased the full size as well. I think this and the primer water are amazing. They basically do the same thing. It just depends on if you want more hydration in your skin or not. You would use the primer water. If you want more hydration, then you would just use this. If you're just like in a rush or something and you don't have to use three primers, you can just use this. This is amazing. Everybody talks about this primer. This is a great primer. I would say out of all these primers, I think you could just get away with buying this one and you're good to go. And then maybe like a hydrating primer, honestly. A hydrating primer is for dry skin. I mean, I have dry skin, so I have to get hydrating primers. So then I also have the sample size that I got in that bag. And then I also have another sample size of the Smashbox Photo Finish More Than Primer Blenish Control Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. This is, don't let the acne 
acne treatment um, label fool you this is amazing as well it's very very moisturizing so I love this as well I'm crazy though and I need to always put on moisturizer and on top of that sometimes I put on a moisturizing primer so I just love having extra extra hydration in my skin all the time so I really love this though too you really cannot go wrong with Smashbox primers they're amazing and then the other mini size I have is the Benefit Professional um, Primer. I actually ended up returning the full size of this. I was kind of obsessed with using the small size for a while. I think I actually went through it. This might be my second one. I'm not really sure. Um, I could have sworn that I didn't. I might have used up the first one, but I haven't used this in a while. But it feels like there's really not that much product left in, left in here. I think this is the one I was using for a while. Because I heard that this is for oily skin, so I wasn't using it. But I was obsessed with it for a while. I thought it did a really good job at priming my skin. So, But I really like this. But I did return the full size after I found out it was for oily skin. So I just still keep this little mini size. I mean, why throw away a mini? But I just got my money back for the... Um, full size. So then the only Too Faced primer I have right now, because like I said, I did use up the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, but I actually really love Too Faced, these two Too Faced primers. Maybe some other people don't really like the other ones as much, um, because I've only tried the Primed and Poreless and this one. But this one, like, everybody loves. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with Cocoa Water, Electrolytes, and Pro... Probiotics. This is a great primer too. It is super moisturizing. Um, you really can't go wrong with this. It just feels like a again another boost of hydration for my skin. So I love this a lot, and I do use it when I can. And then the last primer I'm going to share with you is my only drugstore primer. I did use this for a little while when I first got it, but I am so bad about using drugstore products. Sometimes I do really love using my high end products. Um, but this is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores. Um, I do notice that this does help um, my skin. And I know a lot of people did rave about this primer um, for a little while. So I probably should go back and use it again. I am so bad about using certain products. I'm just like, eh, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. It's so, 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 so bad sometimes. So that's it for face primers. Now I'm just going to share with you. Um, eye primers. I only have two. I figured just to slip these in pretty quickly. I do have a lip primer as well, but I'm just going to share that in my lip products um, video. I'm thinking about grouping together uh, eyeliners, mascaras, lip liners, and lip primers all in one video because I'm going to need my whole one entire whole video just for lipsticks. I might do just lipsticks, then I might do just liquid lipsticks, and then I might do just um, lip glosses or I might just group them all into one but you guys have seen most of my liquid lipsticks and lipsticks in my battle of the liquid lipsticks and lipsticks videos those are basically all the lipsticks that I own and I just rank all of them so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make my own separate video just for those because I don't really know if I need to repeat um, my thoughts on these lipsticks again but I will see if I record the video for my lipsticks so for um, Eye primers. The first one is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, I fell in love with this after using a sample of it from um, my sister buying a whole bunch of NARS makeup from my mom. My mom did get her a full makeover at NARS and my mom got a full makeover and my sister loves this. I think she loves this too. I'm not sure if she got this or not. I think I gave her my sample of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I don't think she has a full size primer. But if she sh will finally get one, she should definitely get this. This is amazing. I am wearing it today. I find that both of these primers are absolutely amazing that I'm going to be talking about. This keeps on your primer, uh, your eyeshadow all day. And this one is sold at Sephora and this is like $26. And then the rest of the stuff that I shared with you, the Smashbox one is... I think these are these might be $30, honestly. Most primers are $30. This Too Faced one is $30. And then the other ones are samples, and the e.l.f. one you can get at Target, and the Smashbox, and Too Faced, you can get at Sephora or Ulta. I mean, people know where to get this stuff, so I didn't really think I had to share it with you. Then the other one is the Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I love this just as much as the NARS one. I actually wasn't going to go purchase this yet because 
Um, I wanted to use up the NARS one first um, because I like just trying out one eye primer at a time. I was very obsessed with the Urban Decay Primer Potion originally, um, but I used that for six straight months and then it expired and it kind of started getting oily so I stopped using it and then I had went out and purchased the NARS one and then I went and got this one and I love this as well. I think this is like $22. But it's great and obviously you can find this at Sephora or Ulta. I do find myself gravitating towards using this a little bit more than the NARS one because it just applies really easily. You just put it on with your finger and that's it. The, the only thing about this is that it takes a little while to get out of the tube sometimes for the other eye. It always applies great to this eye but this eye you have to like dig in there a little bit. But they're both amazing primers. I recommend either one of them. So now I am going to jump into foundations um, and liquid highlighters and um, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, etc. I mean CC creams because I actually don't own any BB creams because I think that those are too light coverage for me. So um, I am including liquid highlighters because um, I did just recently get a new one and I didn't know where else to put it in these videos. So I wanted to include it in this one. So um, the first two I'm going to share with you are not foundations, but I figured I would just share the least coverage to the most coverage. I'm just going to go in that order. The first one is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen in the color Light 01 Finlid. I think that this is the greatest tinted moisturizer I've ever used in my life. It is amazing this is like medium I feel like it's like light to medium coverage I feel like you can get a good medium coverage out of this and it lasts all day it is the only uh, product I feel like I've used with SPF I mean the foundation I'm wearing does has does have SPF in it and I'm obsessed with it but I will share that with you soon I feel like that this is like has the perfect amount of SPF in it and it doesn't like dry up on you. It lasts the entire day. It's just amazing. This is so great for no makeup makeup days, for lightweight makeup days, for like really summery hot days. I just find my, I did use this quite a bit in the summertime and I loved it. So I'm so glad I was able to um, use this for most of the summertime. I really do love this. I feel like I want to use it again soon. Um, so that is amazing. And then the other product that I have that is not really a foundation is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum, Serum SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Physical Sunscreen Chemical Filter Free and Paraben Free. So physical SPFs are great for your face. They say you're supposed to use physical SPF on your face and chemical SPFs on your body. Um, I just heard that from Kathleen Lights because I have dry skin, so I'm just going to listen to her because she has dry skin too. She's my girl. I'm wearing her quad today. I absolutely love her. Um, <laughs> I basically am wearing like the same look that I wore in my makeup stash video for, I think it was my eyeshadows. I was wearing like a purple um, plaid shirt and I wore like um, some makeup geek shadows on the, on the, um, eyes and then I wore this liner on the lash line. It's basically the same all except I switched up the lip just a little bit. I mixed two lip colors from ColourPop today and I used the Kathleen Lights Quad from ColourPop on my eyes today. But anyway, this is not about eyeshadow. This is about foundation. Um, so I find that this is a great product to use for the summertime. It is not my absolute favorite like everybody else. I don't like the smell of this honestly. I think it smells like butt. I'm sorry but I feel like it, since it has such a high SPF in it, it just reeks of SPF. Um, but once you actually apply it to your face, it does go away and it does really protect your skin for like most of the day. But I find that this does break up as opposed to the NARS um, Broad Spectrum uh, Tinted Moisturizer. I forgot the name for a second. Um, after like um, five or six hours of wear, which is still pretty good because you're like out in the sun and you're sweating. So... For something to last that long, that's pretty, pretty good. 
So I do like this, but I kind of like the tinted moisturizer more, but this will protect your skin better. So that's why I wear that for like beach days or like the US Open and stuff like that. And then the last thing that is not really a foundation, but I can't live without this product. I use it every single day of my life. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the color N10. I'm telling you, if you want, are still debating on picking this up, but you think it's too expensive, but you want to splurge on something, this is the item to go for. This is um, still my first bottle of it. I did already purchase a backup of this a couple of weeks ago because I thought I was going to run out like pretty soon. The only thing about this is that I absolutely despise the packaging. I think it's so annoying because every time you open it, the product always comes out of the top. It is so annoying. Um, but this is so amazing. This has changed my makeup game so much. It adds so much coverage to every foundation that you use. And also, I really like using it to adjust the colors of my foundation. If a foundation is a little too dark for me, I mix this in and it's the perfect shade. Or if a foundation doesn't have enough coverage, obviously, I mix this in like with the NARS tinted moisturizer and it gives you more coverage. So this is basically like a dream product. I really didn't think I needed this, but then, like, I use it every day. I love it so much. This is a great, great product. Like, definitely holy grail status for me. So now we're going to talk about foundations, which is the most uh, fun part of this video. So I'm going to start with my holy grail and also, like, the lightest coverage foundation and then go into the fullest coverage. So the first one is no surprise. This is already my second tube of it. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5. This is my ride or die holy grail favorite item on the planet. If you threw out all of my makeup tomorrow and I just had my beauty blender and this, I think I would be okay. Um, because I know like people, like a lot of um, famous YouTubers get asked the question like, what is the makeup product you can't live without or say like if you had to throw out all your makeup tomorrow like live on a desert island or something what would be the one makeup product you would take with you or live with for the rest of your life and I would say foundation because you can put foundation all over your face you could put it on your eyes under your eyes and you're good to go I feel like this looks beautiful everywhere I want to take a bath in it every single day I just absolutely am obsessed with this. Um, I also saw that like another common question is that what is the makeup brand you would use for the rest of your life? Most people did say MAC because MAC is like they pretty much have absolutely everything. Um, but for me, I'm not really sure. It might be Too Faced or Makeup Geek. Um, but Makeup Geek only has shadows that I'm obsessed with. Like I love their eyeshadows so much I use them every day of my life. Um, but Too Faced would probably be my one brand that I would use for the rest of my life. But this is something I couldn't live without. So it'd be like Too Faced and then this foundation. I just, I don't know what it is about this. It's just so natural, so beautiful. I just am obsessed with it. But yes, this is my second tube because that's how much I love it. My mom got it for such a good discount. I'm so glad she got this for 40 bucks for me. Because this foundation is freaking expensive. So, yeah. The one makeup product I really couldn't live without is foundation and concealer. But I would say foundation, definitely. Um, but I think Jaclyn Hill said the one that she would, couldn't live without with is bronzer. I believe Kathleen Lage said concealer and bronzer. And I can't remember who else. But most people say concealers are bronzers. So, but it would be concealer for me if it was down to concealers or bronzers because I barely use bronzers because I'm so freaking pale. But yeah, I love this. I'm not going to ramble anymore. You guys know how much I love that. Then the next one is the, well, I kind of wanted to go in order of the ones that I purchased recently to the ones I purchased like, you know, a while ago. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go from lightest coverage to full coverage. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Coverage Foundation and the color Y225. Now, I actually ended up returning the original Makeup Forever foundation. I probably should have given it another chance, but honestly, I don't even know if like I would have liked it as much as this one. This is a great foundation. 
This is so natural and it's kind of a matte finish. It's not illuminating, but it still gives like a natural finish to your skin. Like the Giorgio Armani is a silk finish, straight up silk finish. It's just beautiful and very natural. This is just a natural finish and it is a little dewy. It is so pretty on. I really, really like this. It does dry up my nose a little bit, but I am going to try it with the Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer there to see how it applies better. That's the only thing about this foundation. It does dry out on my nose a little bit when I apply it. But other than that, this is a fantastic foundation as well. Definitely love that. Then the next foundation is the most recent foundation I have picked up. This is the um, Yves Saint Laurent Le Tint Touche Clot Oxinate. Oxtenoxate, I cannot say that word, sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 19 foundation, illuminating foundation, dimension, radiance, weightless perfection foundation in the color B10. That is a mouthful, I know. Okay, this foundation is probably my favorite, 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 favorite foundation right now. This probably moved up all the way to holy grail status for me. I have been testing this out for almost a week and I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. I think it's amazing. I'm wearing it today, obviously, and I just think it's so, so beautiful. Like, I just think it's just as amazing as the Giorgio Armani and I feel like it gives, like, the same natural finish but it's a little bit more illuminating. Like, I feel like the... The Giorgio Armani isn't as luminous as it claims to be. I mean, it's beautiful, but I feel like this is even more illuminating and luminous than that. I might have to... I'm probably going to wear my Giorgio Armani tomorrow to see, like, how they compare. But I just... I love... I love this so much. And the great, amazing thing about this is that this is the only foundation I own that has SPF in it. And I really need to start wearing SPF, like, every day. Um, because then I don't have to worry about it like breaking up because it has just the perfect amount of SPF in here to not break up on your skin because it's only an SPF of 19 which is weird like why couldn't they just make it 20 or 18 you know but it is very heavy packaging and it's just beautiful I love the packaging on this it does have a pump the Giorgio Armani has a pump too and so does the Makeup Forever I'm sorry, I'm always all over the place with these videos. Cover Effects is only sold at Sephora, so you can get that at Sephora. Giorgio Armani, I believe, is sold at Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, and Sephora. They don't sell it at my Sephora, though, so that sucks. I can never pick up a backup at my Sephora. Makeup Forever is only sold at Sephora. And YSL uh, products are sold through, I believe, Saks and Nordstrom and Sephora. So, but this is bomb.com. I love it so much. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> then um, I'm going to jump in my to my two most full coverage foundations. I would have to say they're pretty much on par with each other with the coverage. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation in the color Vanilla. I am still like kind of on the fence with this foundation, but at the same time, it is gorgeous. It has a matte natural finish, I believe, and it is medium to full coverage. I believe I get a good medium coverage out of this. I always share out everything with a beauty blender. The beauty blender is just my holy grail item ever of life. I just love it so much. Um, but I find that this foundation does wear off a little bit on me in especially in the summertime. So I really can't wear this foundation too much in the summertime. I probably get more use out of it in the spring, but I'm just loving that illuminating dewy glow right now. I mean, I want that like every day of my life, but this is really nice. The last time I wore it was on Halloween, so I haven't worn it in like 10 days or something because today's like the 11th or something, but I do really like this. I just have to be very careful with applying this sometimes. And I actually, this is like the only foundation that I don't wear all day just because of the fact that it does wear off on me sometimes. Um, but I I need to test it out for a full day to see if it lasts all day because I find that this is the only one that doesn't really last all day on me. But I still really love it. I still love Too Faced. I am a Too Faced girl. And this does have a pump as well. So that is good. So I do love that too. I really do love all of my foundations. And then the last one is the most recent one I've picked up besides the YSL. 
This is the Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation Concentrate in the color Ivory Light. This is the only foundation that doesn't have a pump. I'm not going to take it out because it's a dropper and I don't want to make a mess. Um, but I was very on the fence with this foundation. I found it was so full coverage. I found it settled into lines here and on my nose. Was just not feeling that. But then after trying this, um, with a lot less drops, I find that I actually really like it. I was watching Amy Macedo's first impression on this foundation. And at first she had said the same thing that she thought that this was way too full coverage. But then after you actually try this out the way that they say you're supposed to use this, because this is so extremely full coverage, that um, I did find that I liked it a lot more. And it does last a pretty long time on my skin. So I do have to test it out a little bit more. I think I wore this for a straight like three or four days when I got it a couple weeks ago. I was actually debating on returning this. It's such heavy packaging. Oh my god. Because I wanted to see if I wanted to pick up anything else from the Vibe sale because... I was running on a budget this year because I was so stupid and I didn't realize how soon the Vibe sale was coming up. So I had to save up from work to just to purchase a few things from the Vibe sale. Um, but then I ended up liking it and now I have the YSL and the Marc Jacobs are the two most recent foundations I have picked up. But yeah, I am actually enjoying it. But I was actually almost tempted to exchange it for my other Holy Grail foundation which is the Dior air flash spray foundation but I didn't because I'm like let me give this foundation a chance and see if I like it and I actually am liking it and then the last one is just a sample of the Dior nude air serum de tint 010 ivory foundation I got this because of Jaclyn Hill I liked it but I really can't stand the smell of this I feel like it smells like such an old lady but I did like this I probably should try this out again um soon maybe like next week or something and see how I like it so but yeah I like it I can't really remember what the finish of it is though because I haven't used it in a while but I will let you know. And then I'm just going to share two liquid highlights with you. I'm pretty sure I shared this in my liquid highlighter video but I'm kind of doing a comparison right now so bear with me. This is the Becca Shimming Skin Perfector Liquid in Moonstone and this is the Kevin Aquan the Celestial Liquid Lightning. Um, I believe that I still like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone more because this adds such an amazing illumination to your skin. It's beautiful. I love it. I really can't rave about this anymore. I, this was my favorite product in my um, favorites video this past month. But I really just wanted to talk about this one really quickly. I like it and I think it made my skin look really pretty today. But I'm not sure if I noticed too much of a difference. I just noticed with the Becca products, like anything highlighting from them is just so illuminating, so beautiful, so intense um, that maybe like I'm just really spoiled by that and I need to see if I want to use this more. I mean, of course I'm going to use it more, but I think I, I might use like maybe two pumps of it tomorrow. I usually just add like one pump and then like two pumps of the YSL and then like a couple of drops of the cover effects and then mix them all together on the back of my hand and apply it to my face. So I will see how I like this more. I'm probably going to stick this in my November favorites video. But so far I'm liking it. Not sure if I'm completely in love with it. But I like it. So it's definitely not being returned. I, I just like it. I don't love it right now. So now the last products I'm going to get into are concealers and some highlighter pens. So let's just jump into those really quickly. So I'm just going to start with my favorite concealer of all time. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light Warm. This is the best concealer ever. Um, this is my, already my second tube of this as well. I just feel so accomplished after using up certain makeup products. I never used makeup this much, much, this much, can I talk? This much after this past year. I was never into foundation or concealers because every time I would go get a makeover somewhere, every makeup artist or like makeup, uh, makeup artist, yeah, like, or like sales associate would tell me I don't need foundation or concealer. I don't want to toot my own horn, but they would always say like what great skin that I have and that I didn't need foundation or concealer. But I mean, I think I do my makeup pretty natural, and I feel like my natural skin is always poking through, that I really think I come off 
as a really natural finish. And I just really love, love, love concealer now. It's probably my favorite item to apply besides highlight. Those are basically my two favorite things to apply. I just absolutely love concealer and highlighter. Um, but I just absolutely love the effect that this gives to your eyes. I am wearing it today, and I just feel like it's so full coverage, but at the same time, it's hydrating. So easy to apply, and it blends out very nicely. And I wouldn't say it's the easiest to blend out. It blends out nicely, but I feel like two other foundations I want to talk about blend out so easily. But it blends out so nicely. It's it only because it's a little, it's full coverage that you have to blend it out just a little bit more. But it blends out great. Lasts forever on your eyes. And I love it. It's just amazing. Um, and it does come with a Joe Foot applicator. Durr. Smells like spray paint, but whatever. And this is like $28. And obviously they sell this at Sephora, Ulta, UrbanDecay.com. Hello, it's Urban Decay. And then the Marc Jacobs Foundation sold at Sephora. I believe they sell this at Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's too. Becca sold at Sephora and Ulta. And then the Kevin Aquan is sold at on Sephora.com, Bloomingdale's, and maybe Nordstrom. Um, so yeah, sorry. I'm again all over the place in this video. Then I also have two drugstore foundations to share with you guys, which is insane because I really don't use, again, I really don't use drugstore products too much because I believe that buying ColourPop and Makeup Geek Shadows is so much worth, so, uh, is so worth my money compared to buying a bunch of drugstore products because ColourPop and Makeup Geek are such high quality and they're only $6 eyeshadows that I'd rather go out and spend the money on those than spend the money on, like, a Maybelline palette that I know is not really super pigmented and I've heard, like, not great reviews about it, so I just decide to use those instead. But I have heard incredible things about their concealers, so your girl had to try some. So the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 15 Fair. Love this. It is so great for like for like no makeup makeup days. I actually do throw this one in my purse to uh, make sure I can. Uh, fix up anything that bleeds around my face. Like if I kiss my boyfriend, you got to worry about something smudging sometimes. So I always carry this around to make sure I can conceal whatever gets messed up if I end up kissing him. So, um, but this is amazing. I love this when I just wanted to touch up something. Literally, this is the only other makeup product I bring with me besides the lip products when I leave my house. I only bring lip liner, my lipstick, and a concealer because this is the like the most recent thing that I've added to bringing out of the house because I'm really not high maintenance when it comes to uh, bringing makeup with me outside of the house. Bring my lipstick and my concealer and I'm good to go. Obviously, I can't leave the house without my lipstick, so I mean, let's get real. <laughs> And then the other one is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin um, Camouflage Corrector Foundation in the co foundation concealer in the color Ivory. So this one I picked up at Ulta. Obviously, Maybelline's sold at Ulta, sold at Target, sold at CVS, etc. Um, this this was half off with buy two buy one get one half off. And then this one I bought at Target, and I was so worried like what shade I would be. But since I'm the lightest shade in the Maybelline Fit Me, I just ended up picking up the lightest shade of this one too. And it worked for me. I was like, of course I'm going to be the lightest shade. And this is beautiful as well. I feel like it has a very similar effect as the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like this one has kind of like a, lumina, a little bit of a luminous finish to it. which It's just so pretty. And then this has a little bit more of a matte finish. But it's so, so nice. I feel like all three of these are my holy grails because they're so easy to apply. They all have dull foot applicator. Well, not my holy grails. This is my holy grail. But I feel like these are like my three favorites of the moment right now because they're so easy to apply because they have a dull foot applicator. Just I do not have time for like blending out concealer sometimes without applying with a dull foot applicator. It's just like kind of annoying sometimes. So the next one was my holy grail concealer for a while, but then I kind of realized other things that people were saying about this. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Light Vanilla. 
I heard about this concealer that it settles into fine lines, that it dries out really quickly, that it is drying, like a very drying formula on your eyes. And I would have to agree with that. I think my tube has pretty much dried out though. Because I haven't used it in a little while and it looks like it has dried out on me. Which kind of sucks because I believe my mom purchased this for me. And I just, I can't use it now. Like look how dry that is right there. Do you see that? I mean, it still, like, provides coverage, but as I'm swatching it, really nothing is coming out of here. I did try to use it, like, a couple weeks ago, but I've heard that this dries out really, really fast if you don't use it. I did, again, I used up a full tube of this and a full tube of the Urban Decay, and it lasted during that whole time that I used up the whole tube, but I didn't use up the whole thing of this, and it's already dried out, so that kind of sucks, but at the same time... I'm probably not going to repurchase it again, honestly. I'm not really sure yet. I might, but not right now because I have the Urban Decay. And then the last, um, technically, concealer is the, well, it is concealer, <laughs> is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW15. This was my concealer of choice for a while until I got the Urban Decay and the NARS. Um, the only thing about this is that this one has a pump. I know that this looks disgusting. It's just like it gets all over the place when you pump it out. This is so, so full coverage. It is the most full coverage concealer you can use in your life. Probably the Becca ones might be really full coverage and obviously the Urban Decay. But I still feel like the Urban Decay just looks so natural. But this is so full coverage, but it's so beautiful under the eyes as well. I just feel like I don't have time to tap this out and blend it out as much as I do for the Urban Decay. But it's amazing. I just feel like it's very heavy sometimes on other parts of your face. So I use very a very light hand with it. And then if I want to use something to um, blend it out more, I just use a highlighter stick like for the rest of my face. But I strictly use this just under my eyes and then just a little bit down my nose. And then maybe I'll use like a different product around my nose and around my cupid's bow and like around my chin and forehead. Um, but this is amazing. If you're looking for something that lasts all day, it's amazing. It's a great concealer. I definitely love that as well. And then um, the last couple of products are just some highlighter pens. The first one is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose. You guys know how much I love this. This is actually my second tube of this. I know I pretty much have repurchased one, one two, three, four five six products in this video so it's pretty good um I love this this is my second one I just I can't get enough of this product it's amazing and I always mix that with the MAC Pro Longwear but I mix it with every single concealer like always but then I've been mixing this one in a lot this is the U Saint Laurent um Touche Clot Radiant Touch in the color um Luminous Ivory I love this as well. This one has more of a yellow tone to it, but it is very, very pretty. But the MAC Prep and Prime is still my holy grail. I just absolutely love it. I just love highlighter pens. They're amazing. And they're a lot easier to just apply really quickly rather than like a liquid highlight or like a full coverage concealer. Like this is great for like natural makeup days as well. And then the last thing is a Becca Shimming Skin Perfector Spotlight Liquid Highlighter which I probably should have shared with you when I shared the Kevin Aquan and the other Becca products in Pearl. This is actually the only product in this video that I haven't used yet. I am planning to use it really soon, probably more around the holidays because I feel like this is such a beautiful like high holiday color. I don't think I've even swatched this, but it just looks like white out to me, honestly, because it's so butt white, but it looks so pretty. Let's blend it out. That's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty. I got to use that. I got to use that. I've heard that, um, sorry, somebody commented on my Sephora haul, but, um, I've heard that this is really perfect for fair skin along with Moonstone, which is obviously my favorite. And then the last product is just a setting spray. My favorite Holy Grail setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Actually, the Chill Makeup Setting Spray is my favorite. I have to go pick up another bottle of this, though. I'm probably going to get another bottle on Thursday or Friday because this is almost done. I actually used up 
two full bottles of the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, and this, this is still my first bottle of this, but I stopped using this um, when the summertime hit because I wanted to use the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, obviously, for really hot summer days. It's amazing. It just, like, really, like, helps your... Yeah, I need a new tube of this. I'm just, like, shaking it, and I feel like there's nothing in here. I probably can only get, like, one more use out of this, and then it's going to be like, bye-bye. And I can't leave without this. I love this. It's by Scandinavia. And Scandinavia has amazing setting sprays. They're like known for their setting sprays. So this is the only setting spray products I usually pick up is the Urban Decay. I can't live without them. They are amazing. The Smashbox is a setting spray as well, but I just love using it as a primer because I feel like the finish of these are beautiful. And then the other one I have that's actually technically a setting spray is the Lush E Aroma Water, but I use that for my skincare because it's my toner. I don't use that to set my makeup. I'm just obsessed with this. I can't use anything else besides the Urban Decay setting sprays. I think they're so fucking bomb. I love them. So I stopped using it in the summertime and then I just started using it a couple of weeks ago after I finished my second tube of the Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And now your girl's running out of it because I think when I started using it again, it was like up to here. Like I did use a crap ton of it when I first got it and then I got the Chill Makeup Setting Spray too and then I just used that so much. But I love this and I really hope I can pick up another bottle soon. I really want to pick up the Duo because that is super cheap. The Duo is $40 and one tube of this is $30. So you're saving $20 and you get two full size all nighter setting sprays. So I think I need to do that. So yeah, that is it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CBW819 and my Twitter is PokerFace819. And sorry that like my lipstick bled a little bit throughout this video. But what else? Bye!